Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM 2 with me, Get Daved. Ah, uh, what were we doing? Contacting some resistance peeps. And after that, we're actually probably about to get yelled at to go do something else. Ooh. But this is good news. Ooh. Yeah, sustain sounds really good. Objection sustained. Alright, that'll lock down some money. Oh yeah, this guy. Just like the one we found the commander in. On the surface, yes. But in function. Ah, commander. Excellent. We can begin. It is no secret that Advent soldiers possess both human and alien genetic characteristics. Yay, a plot Primary dump. analysis led me to believe that this was the result of direct modifications made to a pre-existing human host. But, there was a shocking twist. Volunteers. See your local Advent recruiter today. However, the reality is something else entirely. The Welcome to your world. The I think you just need to the not go with your gut more often. Manufactured. Each soldier possesses a unique genetic code. Predominantly human, of course, but with some fragments left open. Left open for what? Whatever alien DNA Advent wishes to insert. Sectoid. Mutant. Even the species our soldiers refer to as berserkers. <laughs> These the berserkers? Cases, human genetic material serves as a bonding agent, holding the strands together. Human material? You mean the stuff we found at the Black Side facility? Precisely. The key component in their soldier manufacturing process. So we've been fighting ourselves this entire time. In a way. But I believe there's <laughs> more to it. We've than been that. making progress. The human DNA in this specimen bears one key difference from the entirety of the sequences decoded in the shadow chamber. Psionic sensitivity. Given the sheer volume of strands involved, this cannot be accidental. Screening process at the clinics. Avatar. The potential power of a being created with this template is significant. Central. Had we not intercepted it before the process was completed... I know, Doctor. Continue your research. Let us know if you find anything else. Okay, so we really need to stop these guys. That's what I'm hearing. Um, If we did some projects in the Proving Ground, it might open up research options as well. Uh, alien technology and supplies. You know, I'm feeling pretty good. <sighs> Would have dire consequences. All right, 11, Dave, 11, one, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. There's a sector pod there, so we gotta keep that in mind. Setting course for sector we should have a pretty good Africa. roster for this mission. The game, the game can feel the end is near. Okay, making all our gear. All right, Salty, I think we can have you back in action again. Oh, but we're so close. All right, we're gonna get our psionic soldiers into the mix. Grim, you need a new nickname. Although the next one on the list, let me take a quick look. Um, nickname. 
Pico, there we go. Can we change your hair color back to its natural? Well, I don't know what it was originally. It's got a Japanese name and nationality. He's Shigeru, so we have to assume that he had dark hair, I think. That's racist. All right, we're gonna bring in Patch. Uh, it's a great nickname. Try to get Atomos to the final level. And Y-Wing's getting close. There we go. You know what? We're gonna edit Lynch real quick. See if we can fix that at it. Oh, too late. <laughs> I was gonna see if we could get rid of the perma scowl, but. Yep. Alright, now to gear up the team. I think. I mean, now that we have two war suits, it's a pretty good option for her. No, we can do better than that. And a rocket launcher on uh, on a ranger is a really interesting. Uh, just a tantalizing prospect. Cool. Scythe ability is nice and high. Again, weapon upgrade's not quite as important on him. But on Atomos? Yeah, you don't need the speed bonus. She has uh, an ability that makes her use a ton of ammo, so that's an exciting option. Okay, what else is the question? Immunity to lots of stuff. I know who that's tempting to put on. Okay, and our odds of getting her into meaningful range are pretty slim, so... The flashbang's always kind of tempting. If we're in a real fix, that's always a good plan C. Okay, take your hack bonus. She's got the grenade as sort of an alternate option. Damage 5 to 7, that's not that great. Oh, but it can burn them. Okay. Thanks to, thanks to that nuclear fusion it's performing. Yeah, I think that's alright. Might be putting her in harm's way a lot. So the stasis vest is good for that. All right, the slightly less durable one. Although she's got the armor unit. Now I've been using two psi units a lot lately. 
usually not in conjunction with my best units, and they aren't quite as high level as uh, my other guys, so maybe it's okay. But I am kind of missing having like a second ranger, more sharpshooter, like anything. They've gained a lot of abilities though, so maybe I'll change my mind again. But we definitely seem to have like a lot of uh, stalling potential, but a bit less offense. It's because shotguns in particular, they tend to have good accuracy up close and we often have like additional damage buffs that stack nicely. Oh well. Stasis has saved my butt a few times. Just my chair here. UFO site coordinates locked in. Move to secure the area. Neutralize all hostiles. Okay. Regret not putting in that last uh, PCS. Head it out. He's going to be spotted. Enemy patrol on the move. It's a pretty nasty group, too. Heading to that location. I think someone else would get a little bit more value over parking there. I'm just gonna move her On in a way. little bit more. Really want the cone to be positioned nicely here. Hail of Bullets has got a guaranteed hit. Uh, I should put an upgrade on that gun. Oh well. I'm excited to see that thing in action. Alright, you just hunker down for now. Oh, I like seeing all those abilities on the ability bar. That's moving to position. Exciting. Digging in. Oh no, we all just hunker down. That's what we do. To an organic enemy. She's more likely to be involved in a support role, which probably is going to be throwing a grenade. Rolling. Man, look at her hit point total. Is that the Andromedon, or is that a Sectopod? We know there's a sectopod here. Oh, who cares? So not getting through. Okay, that could be useful, but more so later. Uh, why we could just lob a grenade. Not a bad move. We do have the opportunity to ambush though. Confirmed. So I kinda think maybe we could do a bit better. Hail of bullets is guaranteed to hit. Yeah, okay. We'll wait on that one. And that does hit friendlies. All right, let's see what you got. I pierce all. Calm 
Kamehameha! It absolutely was that. It's still pretty badass, though. Yeah, who cares? We can shoot, uh... Psychic arrows. Very exciting to see a better sniper rifle after all this time. That Andromedon's got to be getting into trouble here. Only the best. Considering we didn't use a single consumable, I'm pretty happy with that. Soul fire to kill the shield bearer, I think. That's gonna be my plan. I'm inside your head. You gotta say the psi abilities are kind of breaking the combat mechanics to the Target game, disabled. but. We won't fret about that. Covering now. Mm. We'll just let him come to us, I think. He's marked too, so this should be as much of a lock as there is in this world. Why do I say these things? Come on, focus. Thank goodness. Target neutralized. Like he was marked. <laughs> Menace one five. We just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. It's some kind of distress beacon. You need to get inside that ship and shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. Okay. Rock and roll. Well, we all know what's up with that now. It's not that bad. It's just a wave of reinforcements. I'm on it. Not that I'm a fan of that, but... Uh... To move forward or not. Doesn't look like there's really anyone we can aggro. On the other hand, we're pretty spread out here. Leave her available, because she's got the Mimic Beacon just in case. On the move. Already Gotta get our there. hacker nice and far near the front. Nice and far forward. Wyoming also is a solid candidate to lead a this. charge. Maybe not the big one. Let's move already. Yeah, of course that'll take a long time. Spire's kind of tempting too, though. Clear? Basically giving your action to someone else. I don't feel safe moving him up like that, though. He's much more vulnerable. Okay, now we really hope we don't get charged. On Overwatch. That really sounds like a sectopod. Surely they wouldn't use one inside. On your order. On the hey, I was just looking for you guys. Hmm. Now might be a good time for one of these. Now there's a possibility. Oh no, 
we can't quite get all three. There's a possibility when we open up that wall, we aggro another group. Looks like we're okay though. Mm. The flashbang option is somewhat tempting. Whoops, that was a sprint. Well, that got rid of the temptation pretty quickly. He's got six hit points, hey? Don't mind if I do. Target asset sighted. I really don't like what shield bearers do, so... Alright, and we really just gotta hope we don't get flanked by a sectopod. Wait a second here. Not worth it. Uh, let's try this here. You have the power. I believe in you. Everybody say something inspiring in the comment section. In like, in like replies to someone else because it's after... Oh jeez, and I picked the wrong unit. Well, that's fine. I guess it's not that inspiring. Oh no, here we go. We'll just play it safe with it though. Just gonna go here, just because we're a bit less susceptible to a thrown grenade, which is probably coming our way here. Not to mention a sectopod. It has to be a sectopod. Oh, that sucks. That looked like it caught him square in between the shoulder blades. Okay, not too bad. That was a useless overwatch. I'm gonna end this one here. In the next episode, uh, we inevitably encounter a sectopod, I think. It's stomping around there somewhere. I'll see you there, everybody. Thank you for watching.